I began my trip with a few days of debauchery in Bangkok. From there I took the train down the corridor to Champon, after which I got on the bus and went across to Ranong. From Ranong I took a boat over to the fantastic Koh Phayam, and then it was back to Ranong, back on the bus, onto the next leg in the madness of Phuket. Right, I've made it to Phuket. I think you can see immediately that it's a very different story from like the islands. Um, these are all the, the uh, tuk-tuks and that. Um, they're gonna charge you fucking tenner to go anywhere, basically. I wouldn't bother getting in any of them. Um, it's probably one of the biggest problems with Phuket, actually, is this kind of taxi mafia that they've got. Um, motorbikes, taxis, all the same, all overpriced. I paid on the bus like 250 baht to come on the bus from Lanong to Phuket was six hours, right? Um, then I got off the bus at the bus station and I paid another 250 to get on the back of a motorbike and come down to Patong Beach, which was like 30 minutes, 30 fucking terrifying minutes on the back of a motorbike going up the very mountainous landscape around here. But yeah, anyway, like total different story um, from the, li the likes of Koh Phayam. Even different story from like Ranong. As you can see around here, um, you're very much, we're, we are entering into a westernized area, yeah? The Jung Silon Mall. In there, you're gonna have Starbucks, Svensson's, Burger King, McDonald's you name it they've got it all at similar prices to you that you would pay in your own country you know um, unless your country is England in which case it is definitely going to be a bit cheaper um, yeah a pizza hut in there though actually I think it's more expensive than England so um, but you know sometimes you come to a place like this because you want this kind of food and that is one of the best things about Phuket actually that you're gonna get such a range of the Western food and it's gonna be all pretty good quality I mean you're gonna have stuff like this all the time kebab shops and that as well yeah good good bit of meat on that is it kebabs a kebab anywhere in the world right it's probably not the safest thing to eat but delicious um, he's nodding in agreement um, in fact I did go to a kebab shop down the road over there and had a double cheeseburger that was fucking gorgeous real good quality so um, yeah, all sorts going on in Phuket, usual shopping. You see that? You see I've mastered crossing the road, just walking between them. They don't want to kill you, you know what I mean? They don't want to kill you, so it's all right. Like I say, you're pretty much entering into a Western economy when you enter a place like this. Um, most of the stuff is going to be a similar price to what you pay in your own country so you know don't expect to come here going for any bargains I mean the old Swarkovsky shit you know that's going to cost the same anywhere in the world sketches and all that I'm not advertising it I'm just saying you know what I mean it's like there's a Levi's shop up there they got a lot you name it and you know, a lot of people like shopping as like a holiday activity you know I don't know why you would you know want to go on holiday and come shopping but the options are available for you and as I've said before one of the best things about a shopping mall like this is air conditioning you know sometimes you're just walking out there in the heat sweating like a pig and you just want a bit of air conditioning so it's nice to walk around in here buy a, a fruit smoothie or something you know Right, this is an interesting little thing. What's going on here? Would you perhaps mind explaining what you're doing sitting in a bowl full of fish? Yeah, well, we're getting our, we're getting our feet cleaned of dead skin by our little catfish. Yeah, and what, and the fish are just eating the skin off your feet? Yeah, they're eating it all off. How do they know which bits to go for? I'm not quite sure. 
but they do it yeah, they by do instinct. It. Clever little beasts, aren't they? Look at that. Amazing, really, isn't it? How's it feel? Tiggles. Uh, Tiggles. Yeah. I might try it. What's the damage? Damage uh, 150 baht for 15 minutes. 15 minutes of getting your feet eaten by fish, I think it's worth three pounds. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy your holidays. Thank you very Thank much. Cup and crap. That's the aforementioned and offensive Pizza Hut. I'll just show you. Again, I'm not advertising it, but what's that? A large pizza, 485, that's almost 10 pounds. If I'm not mistaken, that is more expensive than getting that in Europe. So be careful, you know, but like you're on holiday, who gives a shit, do you know what I mean? Like, obviously now and again, you are gonna splash out, you know? And this is a town for splashing out. Do you know what I mean? If you've been on your backpacking thing and come down the country as I just have done, um, the money that you have saved doing that out of your budget, um, staying in three pound bungalows, all that, eating rice off the street, that money can now legitimately be wasted in a town like this. So, happy days really. All right, Saturday night is all right for fighting in um, Phuket, uh, Patong Beach area. Um, this is the Bangla Boxing Stadium where you can come and you watch uh, Muay Thai, okay? The Thai kickboxing fights. Um, they got something going on every week, every Saturday night in here, I think, isn't it? Every Saturday night. Um, fixed prices there. Um, bit expensive in my opinion you're looking at sort of 35 40 pounds which you know no one in this country would ever pay that to come and see like a local boxing match but if you're in Phuket for a couple of weeks what you're in Thailand for a couple of weeks it's something to do isn't it it's an alternative holiday activity so like I say Phuket is a good town for treating yourself to a bit of Western fare I love the, the, the Asian food and all that, I especially love the price, but you know, when you get in a town like this, it is a great opportunity to try out a lot of um, the sort of things that you'd be eating at home at a slightly more reasonable price. And like I say, you just need a break sometimes, you know, you need a little, um, a little flashback to something that makes you happy, a hit of salt, sugar, protein, something like that, you know, a big chunk of meat that you won't get in a local dish. Um, here's a good place for that. I came in here the other night. I had a double burger in there. It's called Lucky 13 Sandwich. All right, I'm gonna recommend this place because um, I'm gonna recommend this place because I love sandwiches basically. And the fucking selection of sandwiches in this place is incredible. Um, I had a burger, I think it was this one probably. Yeah, bacon, caramelised onion. That was a decent burger as well. Like I say, for this for this country, fucking expensive. But compared to where, what you'd pay for that, anywhere, London, New York, whatever, very reasonable, I think. Um, and just the selection of sandwiches, if I just give you a little look at that, open sandwiches, mugs game, where's the other fucking slice of bread? Give me a real sandwich, please. Um, wraps, crispy fries, they were good. The wings, I had some of the crispy wings. They're made with buttermilk um, flour mix. It's a bit different, you know? It, it was just kind of smoother and crispier at the same time. I can't explain, but it was good. And the burger was good, and the sandwiches look good. I mean, look at that. Chicken and bacon curry dressing. I think that's what I'm having today. Ham and cheese, mayo, Philly steak cheese, BLT, tuna mayo, steak sandwich, chicken chili brie cheese, sorely tempting, turkey, mozzarella and pesto. That's just the first page. Excellent selection. Um, it's expensive, do you know what I mean? Like, like I say, but I mean, is it expensive? 200 for, it's expensive for Thailand. Four pounds for that. Look at that mate, she's a beauty. Um, yeah, so I have gone for the uh, chicken and bacon with curry sauce. Fresh OJ. 
probably going to cost me like a, a five or six pound all in. So again, it is extortionate for this country, but if you, it depends on your holiday budget really. Um, and it looks pretty fucking good. Um, now, again, purely for the purposes of informing and educating you, the viewer, um, I have found my way into um, Pallid Massage, yeah? Yeah. Patong? Patong. Yeah? Um, all right, and I'm having a little foot rub here. Okay. Um, now, this is... 300 baht for an hour yeah that's six pounds for an hour of massage i mean body massage is the same price basically depends what you want aroma massage something like that swedish massage might go up to four five hundred you know but all in all um below 10 pounds right now obviously if you want to get a massage in europe for that price like you've got no chance um so you know again it's another little thing it's excessive if you're on your backpacking budget um, to come and get your feet rubbed, you know. Um, maybe, you know, not, not something you're going to do every day, but it is something you could afford to do every day if you wanted to. Um, unfortunately, um, no happy ending available in this shop. Um, but, um, you know, in my opinion, a foot massage like this is actually even better. It's hard to say sometimes what they're doing to you and why they're doing it, but it usually feels pretty good. So, just got to roll with it, haven't you? Hey, I said no happy ending. All oh, right, go on then. <laughs> <laughs>